only at the Indianapolis Zoo. Welcome to the Indianapolis Zoo. My name's Lori, and we are going to read a story today here at the zoo in front of our flamingo exhibit. Now I say we, I do have a partner who's working with me. Desiree though is standing six feet away running all of my camera shots. So I'm going to start reading. The book is called Sylvie and it's by Jennifer Sapper. Now I will warn you, this is a noisy place to read. There are flamingos in the background and they don't know how to be quiet. Here goes. One morning, Sylvie looked at her family. Then, she looked around at everything else. Mama, she said, why are we pink? Well, dear, we're pink because the little shrimp that we eat are pink. Hmm, that gave Sylvie an idea. She tried nibbling on some palm leaves. Now before I turn the page, think about what might happen if Sylvie eats palm leaves. <gasps> I think you're right. Sure enough, she started to turn green. Oh my gosh, and the wind's catching my book there. Next, she spotted some delicious looking grapes. Uh-oh, what color grapes do you think she spotted? <laughs> the grapes turned Sylvie positively purple. But Sylvie didn't stop there. She thought she looked yummy in chocolate. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> she was right. What a beautiful sky, said Sylvie. It's the perfect shade of blue. Sylvie just happened to be flying by a kite. Now look really closely. She's way up in the sky, and yes, flamingos can fly. But when Sylvie saw that kite, she became Scarlet Sylvie with just one bite. What fun she was having. She wondered what stripes might taste like. Uh-oh. Hmm, <laughs> rather stripy. Why wear flowers on just your head? Oh no. When you can be the whole bouquet. Sylvie had to tiptoe across the sand for a taste of swimsuit. It was worth it to be paisley. But after stuffing her tummy all day, Sylvie didn't feel so well. Oh my gosh. Have any of you ever eaten too much and felt like this? I know I have. Well, let's see what happens. In fact, Sylvie didn't feel like Sylvie at all. She looked at herself, then she looked at her family. Sylvie decided to go right back to eating the little pink shrimp. With a little dessert. <laughs> and that is the end of Sylvie. Now, since I'm out here at our exhibit, I thought I would show you a couple of things that you can't see quite so close unless when the zoo is open again, you come out and check out our flamingo mingle or feed a flamingo. Because I happen to have a flamingo beak. Now it's not a real beak. This particular is copy, but you can see where their eyes 
where their nose is, but most importantly, the edge of the beak is lined with what looks like a little itty bitty teeny tiny cone. And it's very important because flamingos don't eat this way. If I were a flamingo, I would actually tip my head upside down in the water and I would shake it back and forth. And what I'd be doing is squish all the water out, leaving just the shrimp and the other little things that are floating around in the water inside my mouth. And then I could swallow it down. And you can see the flamingos right behind me here are giving you a very good look at their beaks. Now, since they're eating things that live in the water, they also have to be able to wade in the water and they need to be able to swim. Yes, flamingos not only fly, but they're excellent swimmers. And one reason are these feet. Now, you might be saying this looks like a duck foot. Yeah, it's a replica of a duck foot. But the flamingo's feet look just like this. Maybe not quite as small, a little bit bigger for them. But with the foot open like this, they can push against the water and then they can squish the toes together to pull it back. This allows them to push and then pull it back to swim in the water. And when you have flat feet like that, you don't sink in the mud. So that's a couple of fun and interesting facts about our flamingo. I hope you enjoyed getting a chance to look at me and read a book and watch our friends behind me. So I'll let you take a look at our Caribbean flamingos, which are the very, very brightly pink ones. And there are some of our Chilean flamingos in the background. They're the lighter pink. But thanks for joining us with our story, Sylvie.